morning. I am off this morning to um, a photo shoot, which I've never done before. I'm going to be modelling some bridal wear. I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you any of it. I'll try and get a couple of clips. Uh, so that is what I'm off to this morning. I thought I'd do like a weekly style uh, vlog and um, see what happens. So today is Monday and um, I'll try and bring you along to this shoot with me. If not, I will catch you later. Victoria. As you can see, I'm all glammed up. It's sort of a autumn winter um, wedding shoot that we were doing, so it was very glam. So I've just come in the car, I've just grabbed some lunch. I've gone for a Starbucks frappuccino coffee drink and then just a brie and chili on a seeded brown balm sandwich. Yeah, some gorgeous dresses. Uh, they were by Lulu Browns in um, a place called Worley near to where I live so uh, it's stunning I'll put all her links below and then um, yeah I shall hopefully see you later on hey Mel there's Ralph hmm cutie I'm just sat on my bed and um, just going through the support that I've had on the Primark haul that I did recently was really good i'm so grateful for all the lovely comments that i've been getting so i just wanted to say thank you for your support um do let me know what are your favorite sort of videos that i do um because obviously i've got the haul style videos that i do i've got the vlog style videos that i'm getting into doing and i've also um wanted to do more um makeup tutorials the only thing is is I'm, I'm not a makeup artist I don't profess to be one and I'm just sort of self-taught on YouTube I've watched a lot of YouTube videos a lot of tutorials on YouTube but I'm the sort of person that would never make a great beauty YouTuber because I'm quite boring when it comes to my makeup I don't I don't wear full face of makeup every day I've got heavier eyes today this is from the photo shoot that I did earlier on for the um the bridal shop but in general, I just wear quite minimal makeup. So anyway, yeah, that's why I don't think I'd make a great beauty YouTuber and that's why I prefer to do hauls and things. I think I will try and be a bit more experimental when it comes to my makeup. But for now, I might just um, perhaps do some everyday looks and tutorials. I was thinking about maybe doing my dad does my voiceover, which could be quite funny. Um, yeah, maybe a get ready with me one evening, perhaps a smoky eye. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen my Primark video, I'll just show you. Um, as I say, I'm just going through some of the comments now. I'm just trying to find something on Netflix whilst I... Whilst I reply to some comments, I'm doing a blog post as well this evening. I can hear my phone going off in the background. I think for tonight, this is pretty much the rest of my night now. Just chilled um, on my laptop watching some Netflix. It's Tuesday. Uh, I'm heading into Manchester today, uh, but we're waking up with the news uh, of the terrorist attack last night at the Manchester Arena. Oh, the arena where Ariana Grande was playing last night. And uh, yeah, it was it was a real shock this morning to wake up to that news. Um, I've I've lived in Manchester now for uh, six seven years, and I love the city. And you know, when you hear of these terrorist attacks on the big cities, you just I don't know you you don't imagine it's going to be your own. So it was quite hard hearing that this morning. I was I was shaken a bit when I heard the news, and it's. Um, you know, in this day and age with anything big that happens, you, you know straight away, as soon as you wake up and look at your phone, you can see on Facebook people checking themselves as, marking themselves as safe and uh, Snapchat people, Snapchatting, you know, themselves at the concert and then the next scene is them at home after a long night of terror. Um, 
yeah, it's sad news and um, I just wanted to say that my thoughts and prayers are with all the families involved. I am, so I'm off to Manchester today. I'm going to a bloggers lunch, a networking event uh, in the heart of Manchester, which I'm really looking forward to. And um, and then in the afternoon, I'm probably just gonna find um, a spot and do some editing. And I'm staying with a friend tonight. Uh, so I can't wait to see her. I'm super excited. I think we're going for dinner in Manchester and um, the sun's out. It's absolutely gorgeous weather today and the rest of this week in Manchester. So we're going to find a spot later on, get some food, have a couple of drinks. I'm going to stay with her tonight. So I will catch you later. So I've arrived. I'm just heading up now to the lunch. The traffic was awful. Um, I'll hopefully show you inside the lunch and let's go. 13th floor. Hi, so I thought I'd just do a quick um, outfit video whilst I'm in the changing room. This top is from the one that I got from H&M which I included in a Meadow Hall um, haul and vlog video which I'll leave below if you've not seen it yet. These jeans are from Zara, they're like a leather effect white jean which I really like. Um, if I can find them again I'll leave them below. Trainers are from Nike, they are the Juvenate ones. And this shirt is from Hollister, bought years ago. And then I'm just wearing my, um, this is actually my boyfriend's coach rucksack. Just because I have a lot of editing gear and my laptop and everything, which I'm gonna be doing after I leave here, I'm gonna go do some editing and work before I meet up with Lucy. I'm also, I've got a nail appointment later on. So as for now, I've got a few bits which I wanted to try on. This for over bikinis on holiday. These workout pants, which I like the look of. And then a bikini and also a swimming costume in the same colour, which I love this colour, this bright cobalt blue. Good morning, I'm um, waking up from Lucy's house this morning, I'm going to head into Manchester, have breakfast, grab a coffee, start editing and start the day. The vigil yesterday in Manchester, I did include a few clips, um, was really nice, it was literally like the perfect um, vigil, like what they said, they read a really nice poem, it was just beautiful, I'm so glad I was there and um, yeah, we are Manchester. <laughs> Just got back home uh, from Manchester and it was a weird atmosphere in Manchester after everything that's gone on. People were, you could just tell there was an atmosphere that people were a bit on edge, a bit uneasy. I mean, it all kicked off in a Costa whilst I was having a coffee. There was someone with a couple of mobile phones and acting suspicious and you know normally day to day you get that in Manchester there are a few people that do act a bit strange don't think anything of it yet they might get escorted out and you think oh what's going on like more because you're nosy but this time it was just it was hard because um 
you feel a bit scared when you know when it when terror attacks happen in other cities you you feel awful you think nothing worse could happen it's a horrible situation you feel really sorry for the families involved and then when it happens in your own city that's when it gets scary and it shouldn't but it it does and although everyone was um, united and stood together in the in the uh, vigil that was amazing that the sense of pride I got from being in Manchester you know the these scary moments we sort of unite together I really liked that and I, I just I just felt proud to be from Manchester in that moment and I just wanted to say that um, I am back which is out in the country now and um, I did um, I think I briefly showed you on the vlog that I went into Primark and there were a couple of bits that I bought in Primark but not enough to do a haul or anything. So I thought I would just show you on here what I got seeing as though it's just a couple of bits. So um, this first piece is part of the Swim and Beach collection. It was £8 in nude and it is this like just a, a beach coverall dress essentially in this lacy material. And it's got drawstrings at the front, which if you can see. So it nips in at the waist. And yeah, I just, it's like a peachy corally colour, which is, um, which will go with most of my bikinis and most of my swimwear. And yeah, I really liked it. It was in a size large. They only had large and extra large, but you know how it is with Primark. In the last Primark haul I did, I got a grey corset belt. So I got a bigger black one. Um, just because now I have white, grey and black in all the corset belts. The grey one is much smaller. The white one is like a denim one and this one is like a faux leather effect one. So I feel like I've got a good choice now to go for um, whilst this trend is still around. So yeah, really like that. That was, how much was this? It's in a size medium and it was £4. I also picked up a bikini for holidays. It's in this cobalt blue colour which I really like, especially on blondes. So um, the top is just a plain strappy top because I've got a, a few different bikinis but I wanted some that were just very plain and simple in terms of when the days that I'm actually there to tan. I got the top in a size 12, uh, again they didn't have any smaller sizes but because it's drawstring you can, not drawstring, because it's tie up at the back and the neck it can fit you whatever the size really. So top was two pounds the bottoms again plain same color were also two pounds so yeah really like that i also picked up a pajama set um it's like this i would say nautical looking pajama set in uh navy and white the top was four pounds and i got it in a size small as you can see stripes really pretty it's a linen material which is nice a bit different for primark and in the bottoms I got size 6 to 8 and they were £4. I also got, in the rest of this bag, is it's full of Primark Beauty products. So I wanted to try them out. I saw a video by Imagination and she tested out for the first time Primark makeup and did like a full face of first impressions. So I was quite intrigued myself. There was so much choice there that I picked up a few different bits and wanted to try them so I might do a first impressions on Primark Beauty let me know what you think to me doing that below and yeah so they're just a few bits that I picked up from Primark for the rest of the day I'm pretty much just doing an admin -y type day oh, you know when you feel like someone's behind you that was really scary <laughs> no one's behind me I don't think anyone's in either which oh, oh I'm freaked out now um yeah so where was I? I've completely lost what I was saying. Yeah so editing today. Just going to do that pretty much for the rest of today and tomorrow um, I've got a bit of work to do as well. And then I'm going to the hairdressers tomorrow to have these lovely roots topped up. I'm just having a partial um, head of highlights this time because I'm booked in for a full head uh, before we go to Ibiza so I thought just in the meantime whilst I've got a month before we go just top up the parting so that when you tie up my hair you can't see my roots oh. so um, that's tomorrow but as for the rest of today I don't know if I'll see you later I might see you later if not good night <laughs>